today's exploration, we are heading northeast out of DFW and going to visit the town of Ambrose. The primary target was an old school, but of course my eyes were peeled for anything interesting. The day started out rainy and was overcast most of the day with the temperature only getting up to about 85 degrees, which is nice for August in Texas. Ambrose is a small town near the Texas-Oklahoma border. The trip to Ambrose was not uninteresting, with plenty of sights to see along the way. Exploring in Texas can be difficult because nearly everything is fenced off and posted in the state it seems. As a person that believes highly in doing my explorations legally and respectfully, I am left taking many shots from a distance unfortunately. Along the way we traveled through many thick wooded roads with the insects providing plenty of background noise. There were a lot of old barns, farmhouses, tractors, all the stuff you'd expect to see deep in rural country. As you reach Ambrose, the first thing you come to is this school. The school was built in 1917 and was the second school built here. This one was bigger than the first and was, that was built in 1902. Most recently, it appears the building was used as a community center, but it looks like it hasn't been used for years. There are signs that someone has tried to help preserve the building by putting plywood up over broken windows. The inside still has the chalkboard on the wall and appears nearly like what I can picture it looking like 102 years ago. There are a few signs of modern times of course with the air conditioning and even an old computer monitor. Getting close to the building was difficult due to the wasp and hornet nests. The building was swarming with them, as you can see them flying by frequently in the video. Playground equipment still works, but I doubt it gets used much anymore. It's easy to imagine a time when the schoolyard was full of kids playing on recess. All indications are those times are long gone and the future for this place is not improving. There isn't much more of Ambrose to see. The town never really got very big. At its peak in 1919, it was about 60 residents. The town was founded by a man named Ambrose Bible, and he tried desperately to get the railroad to put a right of way through, but it never materialized. Today, it is estimated that less than 40 residents, as reported in the 1990 census, so that number could be less today, and I would believe it. A few miles away from Ambrose, I stumbled upon this historic church, which seemed in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by forest. The church was one of those that was surrounded by graves on three sides, which seemed to be a characteristic of really old churches. This one held true to that, as it was built in 1860, with the original church 
being established in 1837. Thanks for watching along on my exploration travel to Ambrose and the surrounding areas. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe as I plan to release videos like this on a weekly or at least several times a month schedule.